In this quick video guide, I want to show you how you can import in uh, After Effects a sequence of images that can be also without the background, so PNG images with the alpha channel, and uh, export them from um, a software like uh, a 3D software like Blender. So you can do this using 3ds Max or Maya or Cinema 4D, whatever, and then you can import not the video but the single uh, frames, and then you can like assembly everything together into a sequence directly in After Effects. So what I'm going to do here is just start with um, uh, Blender first. So I'm, I'm going to change here quickly the preferences into English language. And I'm going to create a really simple animation. You can see here I'm using the camera in the file that you usually have when you open up Blender. So really easy. If you don't know, how to use Blender, check the other guides and courses that we have in Blender in the channel. And same goes for After Effects. So what I'm going to do here is just add a uh, monkey head. And then I'm going to animate this real quick. So uh, I'm going to push it a little bit forward. Let's also see what the camera is uh, uh, getting into the shot. So let's animate this. So I'm just going to go in the first frame right here. and just going to activate Auto Frame. So I'm just going to move this slightly and then push it up. I'm going to animate like a couple of seconds of animation. I'm going to push this up. And also I can like rotate or do other animation. This is how I created this. You can rotate like freely or you can rotate around the axis, like the blue axis like this. So we have this like really simple animation. Now remember to check if you are actually seeing this through the camera. So you can select the camera and can click and see if you're actually framing that. If you're not framing the animation, you can press the G key and then you can move the camera a little bit up so you can frame the animation. So try, you know, to frame everything that you want to see here. So once you're ready and you prepare your rendering, you can go here to the render and just render animation. So if you click here, it's going to render the entire animation frame by frame, as you can see. And usually I'm, I'm just going to stop that because I already uh, rendered that animation. And it's, gonna not, it's not going to render a video. It's going to render a sequence of images. And that's really handy because if you stop the process any, in any moment, you can also retrieve where you left. So um, to fix this or to adjust the parameters, you can go here on the properties panel and go in the output panel right here. So here you can adjust the resolution and if you go down also the frame rate, so how many frames you want per second. And here also the file format. So if I just and also the frame range by the way. So if you want to you can like export less frames. And here in the uh, output which is the most important thing you can choose if you want a PNG with the alpha channel so RGB plus A or you want, for example, like JPEG, so images, or also you can render directly a movie. But again, I think it's better to uh, render images because they will be less compressed, so you can compress them later in After Effects when you export, and you can assemble them later, and it's just, you know, more flexible operation. So you select the format, you select the RGB and Alpha channel if you want to have transparent background, and then you just go uh, export and don't forget to choose a folder if you want so if you click here you can it's going to go directly to ctmp if you want to change that just select any other folder that you have in in your computer like the download folder or whatever else like the the, the video folder and so on okay once you're ready click on render animation and wait until the the, the animation is finished and it render all the files now to see the the results, I'm just gonna like make Blender a little uh, smaller, and then I'm gonna open up After Effects. Okay, so I'm gonna run now Adobe After Effects, and when we open After Effects, it's gonna ask us if we want to create. There you go. If you want to create a new composition, or if you want to do a new composition from footage, and now it just got here in the most recent, and these are the lessons of the After Effects video course you'll find in the channel. So I'm just going to go for a new project. And again, you can choose a new composition. You can do directly a new composition from footage. That's the quickest way. So we're going to go for this. I'm going to click here. And I'm just going to select the first frame of my animation. So I'm going to navigate into the folder where I save 
the images and I'm gonna select just the first one. Then I wanna make sure that here you have PNG sequence activated. And then you, if you want to be sure, uh, you can also activate fourth alphabetical order. So it, it's gonna look for like an alphabetical order. So you don't need to select all of them, just the first one or where you wanna start from, like the sixth one or the, I don't know, like the 20th one and so on. So I'm gonna select just the first and make sure these are activated. You can also automatically create a composition and you can also, uh, if you want to change, uh, um, well, yeah, it, you, that's all you can do. So let's just import and wait. So. Now you can see it's creating the, the image sequence and there it is. It's already in the timeline. We can see the track and it can already co go back and forward. So all those images now have been uh, assembled together into a video footage that we can play back and forward. And we can apply also effects like, uh, let's see here some preset here in the animation presets. Let's go in image special effects and let's add like night vision click and drag into the footage and then it's going to be applied to the entire um, animation that just exported from uh, Blender. So that's how easy it is. And uh, that's it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated. And uh, if you want to support us and join us uh, as a supporter, this will help us also to create more videos. And by the way, if you want a Spiderman background, we need in the render here to go into the film and activate let me show you here you need to activate transparent so you have the actual transparency when you render out as a png and that's it so thanks for watching check our other courses and video guys in the channel especially after effects and blender if you're interested see you in the next video